Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Basilisk, which is a haunted ROM emulator horror game created by Kira, who's the creator of Spooky's Jump Scare Mansion. And like I said before, it is a haunted emulator, and even the game file is in emulator format. So I'm just kind of showing you really quick, like, this is what it looks like. There's like a ROM folder, a saves folder, and so on. So we're, we're going to see what we're up to. Uh, and there's even a readme that seems like it's like a legit readme. Okay, so I've loaded up the ROM. There's Basilisk. Press start. I honestly have no idea what we're going into. The game description was really vague. Untold hardship befalls the kingdom. A time of famine. The king struggles to provide for his people and allocate food to the peasants. You, a simple knight, are dispatched to hear out the people. But it may be too late. You arrive at town. It was not what you expected. The town is deserted. The buildings are gone. And there's a shrill howl in the air. Okay. Well, I think the controls are arrow keys. Aside from that, I don't know. Let me see something. Inputs. So right now I'm not sure what we're actually doing. We're just in the woods. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything of note. I mean, I see trees. But like... Hold up, I think we reached the end of the map. Okay, there's the end of the map. That means... There is something we have to find in here. It's not just wander and something happens. But yeah, that, that's part of the game's description too, is that it's... This is a on a Super Nintendo emulator. It's not a real one. It's an artificial one, but still. So... It's a haunted Super Nintendo cartridge. Do we have to load save states? State 1. State 0. More trees around here. Don't know. Let's try loading another save state. I wonder if this is gonna... Input config did nothing. I clicked on that. Load state... Well, what we just loaded state one. What? We're pretty slow. Hello there. Oh, you made it. This keep is all that's left of the old kingdom. Once there was a nice gal here. I was sweet on her once. But she betrayed me, and now she's gone like all the others. Do I do anything else here, sir? Maybe let's reload another... We were on two? Yeah. Power slip, soft reset, save screenshot. I'm gonna hit that anyways. This is a... What... Are you? Please help me! How can I help you? There's another one. What is this place? I can't. I can't. 
I can't get away from it. Cause I gotta enter. It loads the dialogue again. It's not a bug. It's a feature. So I'll give Kira. I'll give. I'll give Kira some chops in this one. The fake emulator formats really interesting. Oh, thank God! I found the blood sword. Now I can be like a dark knight. But what do I do with the blood sword? Here's the other thing. I don't know if I'm playing the game correctly or not. Because the weird format of the game means I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Uh, make a screenshot. Let's load state two again. I kept the sword. Interesting. But she treated me now. She's gone like all the others. That's the fog force. Why is there a save state? There's like a skip over in the save states. Don't see anything of note. Not yet, anyway. I mean, we did find this blood sword, but. Demo? Yeah, demo as in, like, you know, when you boot up the game and you, like, touch anything and, like, does an autoplay? A woman. We... This looks like the first stage. We murdered her? I keep you running. What happens next? Another woman. Let me see it's a different sprite when we go to, uh... Because our character's gonna go to... Yeah, it's a different sprite. I'm not sure if that's important or not. There was a lot of souls in the one force that looked like women. And then the one guy in the keep mentions me like, I knew a gal, blah blah blah. Huh. Weird. Still not sure how I'll interpret this game. Really, really weird. Is there any other woman you're gonna go after? Oh, it's the man! He ignored the man. See that? Interesting. There's another man. So yeah, let's keep watching. Killed that man. But the one we met earlier in the ever safe state, we spared. Now how important that is, I don't know. So we've killed three women, or two women. Lost track. Was that were two or three? It's whatever. One man spared the man in the keep. Okay, that looks like the one from the start. So I think we're on a loop now. Let's load something new. That's the demo. Now where am I? What's this last save state? Blocked by rubble. Let's go this way. That's the man from the keep, I can just tell by the silhouette. Hmm. 
What do you want? Could you believe it? Seems nowhere is safe, even a castle. To think that the basilisk made its I'm assuming it's made, since it like made its way all the way here. Are we the basilisk symbolically? The emulator is flashing. You're gonna try to spook me, aren't you? Let me see something. Okay, no. It's a screenshot. I don't know if that even helps, but... A knight. Hello, Sir Knight. Finn. Let me confirm something about the storyline. I think I figured this game out. So you've pretty much gone like all the others. Well, you made it. Keep us all left of the old kingdom. Once there was a nice gal, I sweet on her once. Cause here, okay. Here's the game's description. The game's description is that you play a noble knight on... Basically, the kingdom has a famine. You're on a noble quest to stop the famine. I'm just gonna load up the beginning real quick, walk around. Uh, I'm gonna start with the story length. I think maybe we found everything, but there could be secrets or something weird, you know, how these games kind of work. Sometimes you take a long time to find them. Sometimes you find them quickly. But my interpretation is, oh, here you are. You were in this forest. I am called Scratch. I'm the Wanderer of Sorts. I'm somehow overknown. On your way to the ruin, I should be on the lookout. Across that space won't get you anywhere. The vein that connects the worlds. I didn't see you last time. Because when you encounter... Scratch, as they're called... They... In the last level, they mentioned something about... Oh, uh, the basilisk got even here. And my interpretation is... I think the demo, the demo really tells you what went down. I feel like this level must have some more meaning. I'm just gonna kind of walk straight. See where I found the scratch here? My interpretation is that you have been... To sell the famine, you've been murdering people. You've been cutting down the population. Like, you're sanctioned by the kingdom. And that when you reach the end of the last level, you meet a knight. And then this cuts to, like, a picture of your sword in the ground. Like I said, my interpretation is that you're sanctioned, and then once you've done it, the deed, they've killed you afterwards. So, I don't think it's a hard creepypasta type horror game. Like, oh, the, the cart's haunted. Oh, we found something. Here we go. Even if you kill everything, there'll be one monster. So there is stuff in the game. Okay. We haven't found everything yet. We're finding it now. What was day one? It was this forest, right? We never really found anything in this forest. There's this. It's 100 years ago, the beast was slain. It was here. Let me just redo the ending again. I mean, those are things that probably that were there, we just didn't see in the first run. I don't think we changed anything in the state of the game. You're a curious character. Because it says there'll be one monster left. I'm assuming that means you. Like, you know, you're the monster, right? So I just went over the readme again. So it says, okay, not many ROMs start at all right now, but none are yet stable. Like, there's only one ROM in the folder. But I've managed to compile a few unfinished... SNES, uh, SMC files, and it seemed to work okay. 
Developer comments and load points are rewritten as save states, so you can at least see what they, what they was working on. So I'm gonna call it, and I'm gonna assume we've beat Basilisk, and it's an interpretive game. I could be very wrong, though. I'm, I'm fully ready, except like there could be a whole other thing to this game. But at the bare minimum, just based on the description of the game itself, where it said, like, a noble knight's gotta stop a famine. And in the demo thing, you see you murdering everyone except the one character, men, women, whatever. In the one area, you see, like, lost souls. You get a weird blood sword. The the one guy who survives, like, oh, to say a, a basilisk has invaded the castle and killed everybody. Who would ever thought? And I'm assuming you're the one who killed everybody in the castle. And in the end, like I said, I think a number of night kills you. Like, you're ambushed or something. You're betrayed. So that's, like I said, that's my interpretation. That you went to stop the famine by starting to kill everybody. And it's some weird conspiracy. You are the basilisk. You are the... The, the monster. Now, as it is, I think it's a pretty interesting, cool game. I think it's an interesting format. I think Kira might have made this game really quick, based on their tweets, like almost maybe literally overnight, I think they were implying. Like they just had like a funny dream, because I saw there was a tweet about this. I think they just had like a, a funny dream or, like, or an idea, and it's like, yeah, yeah, let's put the giver. So I liked it. I think it is, I like it in like an interesting way. I don't necessarily like it in like a straight, Oh man, that's an amazing, crazy story kind of way. Just the whole package, I think, is where where I appreciate. Like, you're loading the save states and so on and so on. The immersion. That's what I appreciate. Anyway. So, thank you all for watching me play Basilisk. I'll see you guys later. And take it easy.